and mute himself. What is ah. up, Need for Speed Racers? It is I, your wheelman, Alex Cornnut, and I'm here with the Cornnut crew. We are going over the best cars for S Class, the ones that we have set all of the Cornnut crew records in. What's meta? What we think is fast, so that way you know which cars to go and unlock, which cars to build, so you can set fast times. With me, I've got members of the Cornet crew today. I've got I'm Not Donald. Yo, yo. I've got Seikei. Big swashed up. I've got Siwoo. Hi, hi. And I've got Slide QT. No, hello. So with me, I've got some of the guys that set some of the fastest times on the track. On the screen here, I've got the guys on the Discord, so you can kind of see who's talking. But I've also got the Cornut Crew record times. Some of the tracks don't have times because they were just given out in the Volume 2 update. And none of us have set a time that we are really, like, super comfortable, like, putting out there as a record time. Because unless you get a fast time, you don't want to share it. So yeah. some of those are blank. But for the most part... It's slow effort. So yeah, so slow, slow effort is where we're at. <laughs> um... So, like, we've got a 150 by Hex on Blue Collar in the F40, a 146 on Get High Tonight. Hex is one of the only ones that couldn't be with us. Uh, him and Nil are two of the guys that would have liked to have because they're on this list. So the way the list works when we're submitting you guys is we do the time, we take a screenshot, we submit it in the Discord, and then we take a picture of it. We upload it to a site so anybody can go and see that screenshot. It tells you, you know how fast they went and this is how we kind of prove it so that way it's not just a number on a screen and then in some cases if they've got video recording of it like hex is 150 on blue collar right there we can go and we can watch the lines and get you know some education on that so overall we do this as a crew for a couple of different reasons bragging rights also when we build a new car we can test it against these times to know if it's fast if we're working on tuning something and we want to know if the tune was better or worse, we can kind of compare it to what we've already got. If we go fast on a track, we can actually compare it to what's already been done. So that way we know if we're close, if that line that we just worked on was better, if our practice is actually helping us. I mean, there's a lot of different ways to look at it. But at the end of the day, the more data we can collect as a team allows us to bring you the best content possible so you know you guys are getting real builds. I would say that there's not a whole lot of content creators that have this much data in the bank. Uh, so at the end of the day, you're, we're really bringing it to you with a lot of information backing that. And there's a lot of really good heads that are getting put together to bring you these builds. And so I wanted to bring some of those guys with me so that way you can get an idea of what's really taking place behind the scenes and you get the most out of your cars. So, guys, S-Class is no stranger to being quite fast. I think for a period of time, if we took out the Regera, I'd run a handful of these S cars against the S Plus versions because there's really not that big of a difference between some of them. Um, mm -hmm. Looking here, Blue Collar, Get High Tonight, like the F40 is utterly dominant in the S Class. I mean, it is meta. It is the definition of meta. It is quite good. Now, we've got a build that not everybody is running. Um, that's something I probably ought to share on the channel. The last time I shared a build video for a F40 was, I think it was Cube's twin turbo yep. version. Mm -hmm. Nil has updated that for us. I won't disclose any more information other than that. But it's really allowed us to set some crazy-ass records. And by us, I mean Hex and Seike and some of the other guys because I'm not there. But um, that's okay. It doesn't mean that uh, the car is not good. It just means that I'm not as good in it as they are. That's for damn sure. So we've got the F40 on there for sure. It's insane. The car does about 195 um, when it's all said and done. We've got the Testarossa in the Hot Pursuit mixed. Uh, is that just a super speed run that you did, K? Is that like one of the 230? Like yeah, it, it's 370 kilometer. I don't know in uh, miles per hour, but it's uh, legit S plus kind of speed. Okay, and so... it should be really good in the cell as well because I did yeah. 145 in like a second run. So okay, 370 uh -huh. is 230. So yeah, 142, yeah. 43 is definitely possible in that. Yeah, one. definitely the on the SL, yeah. Oh, which which track? The SL. The hustle. Oh, the yeah. hustle. Okay, yeah. So guys, they're talking about the hustle down here. Um, it doesn't quite have a time yet. So they're talking about what can be done on that track because it's kind of a, a lengthy speed track. So I think that we'll probably see the Rosa pop up there. 
So, guys, that Rosa is on the channel. It does S plus speeds in S class. I would say the Rosa is kind of tiered up always for its speed. Like in A class, it's doing A plus speeds. In A plus, it's doing S class speeds. It's faster than a lot of S cars. Um, it's kind of funny how that works. Mind you, it takes a little while to get there, but it's got the legs for sure. Other cars to talk about, uh, the McLaren P1 GTR on Lakeside. That is the yep. off-road build that I shared with you guys already. Um, <laughs> that's We've we've been holding on to that one for a while. How long ago did Hex set that? Let's see here. Oh, it's quite recent. Uh, oh, did he recently just set that one up? Let's see here. Yeah, we improved it uh, recently. Oh, okay. So 331 is when it got improved, it looks like. But I know that we've had that build for a couple of months. Yeah, it's been 122 and he got uh, some improvement. Okay, okay. So that's about the only place that McLaren's going to pop up on this list for now. Um, yeah, it the should be on Riding Dirty and uh, yeah. the other one. Yeah. Gravel pit. Well, Gravel. I think oh, Lord's yeah, doing Riding Dirty team. in the F4 GT, isn't he? Uh, well, Lord, no. But Tetsu was doing the 4 GT on Lakeside and he did 122. Okay. And I think he used the uh, Pista on the Fraud S as well. Oh, yeah. I think yeah. it's Tetsu, if I'm not mistaken. I, I've seen a lot of people yeah, talking yeah, yeah. about that Pista. Yeah. It's, it's, it's making the rounds yeah. for sure. I think he, he got 138 on Riding Dirty or something no, like that. No, he got a 136.9 on Riding Dirty with the Pista. Okay, Jeez. okay, okay, yeah. Uh, so, Slide, I see you've got some times on here. Uh, is that going to be a drift build 180SX for road? Yeah, yep, for road and for uh, off-road as well. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, Smoke Show is that a that's a regular road ver version, right? Yep. Oh, Gravel Pit. That's your off road. I see it up there. Okay. Yep. All right. My dog's over here barking and fighting. Um, but I oh. think the P1 GTR can probably take the record there as well. That I, makes don't, sense. I don't think I can do better with the 180 in there. Okay. So Gravel Pit, something that's up for discussion by the sounds of things. I um, think X was at 155 on Gravel yeah, Pit uh, without was, much, much trial. He was, so. he was at 154, I asked him. Yeah, okay. Oh, yeah. wow, okay. So he's right yeah. there, yeah. yeah. All right. And so on this list, we've got really it's the F40, Slide doing his drift stuff in the 180, and then the 71 Skyline. And that's kind of the tarmac covered. Um, mm -hmm. The 71 Skyline has got the legs. It's got a good top speed, you guys, and it handles pretty decent for the speed that it can put out it, it i would say that the 71 really shines in third fourth fifth sixth gear before you get into the last gear it's got a lot of really good mid-range acceleration and it it boosts really hard too um the 231 95 we haven't updated that one yet because i just set that record um recently but that is actually a 229.99 on rapid transit in the 71 you can, skyline. You can show the screen, bro. Oh, yeah, the screenshot? Yeah, yeah show yeah. it, man. Find yeah. the screenshot, show it now. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah. I have to go find show it. Show them. Oh, come on. I, I mean, I've got the was, gameplay footage. I don't know. The, the, the 3195 was with the V8, but you did 2999 with the V12. While, while you do that, Alex, let me quickly talk about the, the cars that I think are meta for drifting in S. Yeah, dude, do that. So, do that. That'd be perfect. On the number one spot, I think I have two cars, the Ferrari F40 and the Nissan 180SX. These are very, very good cars, which I was able to set some decent times on. So, for example, on blue color with the F40, I managed to get a 154.5, I think. But I think I can improve it to about a 152, 153 with perfect lines. Nothing comparable to the 150 of Hex, but still very good, I would say. And, um, yeah, on, I think on Get High, I got a 148, which is decent as well with the Ferrari. And for all the other tracks that are not like a top speed track, uh, tracks like Moke Show, similar to that, I would say the 180 SX is the king. There is legit no car that I yeah. can beat that time, not even a grip car can beat that time on um, Moke Show. But... I've seen lower times. I think I've seen a 214 with a 180SX yep. on small shop, yeah. so yeah, improvement yeah. is possible. And okay. there was 217 with the Pagani for grip players. Oh, yep. yeah. So, um, basically, guys, the 180SX is utterly dominant. 
uh, in the drift scene. So that's what Sly was talking about there. Which, that's going to get a build on the channel here real soon. We've done his off-road stuff. We've showed his drift RSR. I think it's time to really showcase uh, what his 180 can do for us. It's, uh, it's pretty damn good. Uh, the screenshot they were talking about, here it is. It, I pulled it up. It was on today's video. But that's the Skyline. 1971, and I do a 229.99 on Rapid, so that's it right there. World record, by the way. World record, yep. by the way. There's a handful of people that are like, how do you know it's a world record? There's always faster people, and it's like, well, they haven't posted a video or ever put it out on the internet that I could find, so they need to make it more available to the rest of us. <laughs> but that being said, so basically we're F40, 180SX, the Rosa for that yep. one anomaly which is that speed list and then skyline yeah. gtr what the are v8, the v8 gtr uh, only v12 on rapid transit oh yeah the v12 specifically on that one track on rapid and honestly um it could be done with it, it could be done with the v8 it, it get a clean run it could be done in either the the 12 okay. just with lower downforce happens to hit a little higher top speed under boost and so i think it's a little easier to do it but either way i mean uh, we're we're splitting tenths between the two motors, but I would take the V8 for the rest of that. Like every other time you see that car here, you guys, it is the V8 with a super because all of that torque helps you get out of the corners, and so that's what gave um, Siwu on fish hook right here. That's what gave it um, Hex over here on rails. I mean, that's like that's what the crew is using, and it's it's fast. It's got it's got what it needs to get up and go. It um, could beat uh, the get high to night time as well, maybe. Yeah, I think so. I, I really do think it could take the get high to night time. Yeah, maybe like show remix and uh, power, I'm not sure. Yeah, if we just chase the times, I think it could definitely be done. The F40's yeah, just got that probably. launch, man. That launch yep. is intoxicating. I don't know, power is really, that's a fast-ass time that he's got there in the 180. Yeah, uh, I, I got 122 with the Pagani, so. Okay. Yep. But yeah. <laughs> it's the 180 better. time can definitely be improved. Yeah. Okay. So coming around to that, you guys, uh, we don't have these cars. The The list is gone. Those cars disappeared from the game. What are we building? Pagani at S. Team Pagani. Uh, obviously Team Pagani. Yeah. Uh, for the yeah, short Pagani cuts. is for sure sturdy. The F1 as well is uh, decent. Oh, yeah. McLaren F1. Yeah. Great yeah. car. Great car. Um. It it's it handles good. It's predictable. You guys, if you don't have a McLaren F1, oh, that's what I'm talking the, the Diablo SV as Ooh, well. Ooh, the Diablo SV. Now that's a it, shout it, out. It was it was meta before, so it was it was the Diablo yeah, SV. You guys, I'm mad at that. and I've got a build on the channel for it. So go check that one out. And also, well, the Bugatti. there is like basically all the Lambo and the Ferrari can be built in short track specialist kind of. Most so. yeah. Yep. So uh, the Vulcan's really not that bad anymore either. That's true. They it's weird. They nerfed it, but somehow it's better. I don't I don't understand. Like it's like an anti-nerf, but still pretty good. And then also the Maybach is actually pretty damn good. I enjoy it a lot. The Maybach, it's not meta. I don't think it ever see a time yeah. on this list, but it is actually it pretty sturdy at S. The guys that Maybach build I've got on the channel is pretty damn good. Uh, you might go give that a look if you want to go unlock that one. It's pretty fun. Um, outside of that, I'm trying to think of other... Oh, dude, like, low-key, X6 BMW, not a bad car. Like, I think it doesn't yep. get enough love. That's actually pretty fast. It could um, be worse. Oh, and also the AMG uh, Black Series. That's a really good short track car. I know you guys really don't oh, drive yeah. that much, but mm -hmm. uh, that's a really good one. McLaren F1? Yeah, we did. We uh, yeah, it's, did. It's been. Um, yeah, we, we talked about that. Oh, okay. Now. It's, uh, but thank you for are, keeping. Are we going to mention good. the golf? No, the golf. Okay, so for okay, those of you guys out. watching, <laughs> I you're screaming at home. Golf, golf, golf. The golf has its own timesheet over here on the right. <laughs> <laughs> we don't give a fuck about the golf. The golf is its golf. own thing because it doesn't yeah, drive like any other car. Like, if you learn how to drive a golf, you forgot how to drive everything else. Like it's. <laughs> Oh, we forgot actually the what is it, the Lambo, the Countach, the most recent one, I think, is uh, all the, right. The new one? Yeah. Yeah, the new Countach is all right. It's definitely not bad. I don't. Yeah, it, it's good. It's good. And actually, yeah. um, a handful of the Lambos, because they've got a little lower top speed, are pretty freaking fast. Yeah. Um, yeah. You pretty much can't go wrong with a Lambo build, really. 
And actually, for uh, the off-road, there is the La Ferrari, the FXK, Evo as well. Yeah. That yeah. can be decent in off-road, actually. They are they feel more stable and grippy than the P1. So yeah, that's that's true. So for the off-road side of things, guys, the Ferrari FSXK Evo off-road um, is a pretty good one to get into. I've heard the piece is pretty solid. I've not yeah, driven it the myself, Ford but I've seen GT it. GT maybe as well. For GT, in I've seen it be pretty sturdy. Yeah. So there's a handful. It's alright as well in non off road version. So. Yeah, a handful. Oh yeah, and then actually, in S class, the uh, four GT doesn't do too bad. The four eight eight GTB is pretty good. Um, I'm trying to think. Oh of yeah, uh, slide time. slide was messing around with the Mustang Boss or something. It's actually oh, with both decent. The like, it goes. Like, oh it yeah, goes yeah. Really the, fast, we haven't actually, but we haven't put those ones out yet. That's coming out. That that's going to be coming out later. We've got some Mustang builds for you guys. So. Um, and the 240Z as well. Is and the 240Z, yeah, yeah. that's going to coming out. I wanted to mention after you guys yeah. were finished, like the top three cars that, that I would use that are on meta, it's number one, Fair Lady, number two, the Prototype Z, and the next one for drifting would be the Mazda RX-8. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. 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 So, guys, yeah. that's coming from Slide. He's telling you right now what he would use off meta. And that, that's a hot take list right there. Those are cars that are not in use right now by the majority of people. So we've got the Prototype 400Z, the 240Z, and then the RX-8. Dude, let's go. Let's go. So yeah. I think I need to get with Slide this week and get some build videos out on those for you guys because uh, that's, that's definitely not in the current circulation of cars getting driven, and I think that'll be a good one. Um, pretty solid, you guys. So really... Uh, for those of you guys at home, kind of a recap, F40, you got to have one. It is the car to have in S-Class for half the tracks. The other half the tracks, it is going to be the 71 Skyline. If you've got those two cars in your garage, you're running a meta car and you're going to be able to run well. That side taken out, you've now got maybe the drift scene. The 180SX is good. 240Z, we're going to be doing a build video on. The RX-8, like you talked about, and then the Prototype Z. So those are some drift cars to look into. I don't have those on the channel yet, but we will soon. And then for the off-road side, you've got the P1 GTR, the FXXK Evo. Um, La Ferrari. The La Ferrari, and then also the Pista. So pretty much the Ferrari scene has got the off-road covered. And then cars that are not on this list, but we really like as a group. Uh, Ford GT sticks out to me. I like the X6 BMW. That really impressed me. The Legends Edition BMW, the M3, the hero car, it's pretty good yeah. at S. Actually, um, the Subaru as well is decent, the 2006. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 the, the Hawkeye, Hawkeye Subaru is pretty yeah. good, you guys. It's good in off-road and it's good in on the road as well. Yeah, yeah, it's good off-road and on-road. I've got builds for both of those. Definitely, uh, yeah, good shout-out, CK. That's definitely true. Yeah. Um... So yeah, there's a handful of cards there, you guys. McLaren F1, not on the list, but also a very good car. And the Pagani as well, Team Pagani. And the Paga Team, Team Pagani. Pagani, the Pagani as well, I can't forget. Uh, so and the Vulcan. And the Vulcan. The Vulcan yeah. is super good handling. It just doesn't have, as it's a momentum car. You've got to get up to speed, and you've got to be good at not messing up. Because if you crash, it doesn't catch up as good as some of the other cars. So, um, definitely really good insight here, you guys. I think this gives the people watching an idea of what a fast time is on these tracks what car we're using so they know what to shoot for and then what's worth building and so i think that everything that we name drop today you guys is really quite good and if you want to go and be a golfy boy that's awesome good luck on your adventures and your future endeavors um other than that i think that's a pretty good recap and a pretty good wrap up of the s class uh does anybody have any you know parting words something else they want to say before we let everybody go Nope. All right. Nope. Nope. Okay. Well, guys, thank you so much for watching at home. Drop a like on the video. If there's a car that's not on this list that we didn't talk about that you think is really good, drop a comment as well. We'd like to discuss that in the comment section. Come and join us over on the Corn Nut Crew, and you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.